You can use MATLAB's unit testing framework to check if changes to your MATLAB code results in any unit test failures on the generated code. To illustrate the workflow, here we have a function called add1.m that simply adds one to the input. We've written two simple unit tests that calls add1.m with an input variable of the number 1 and pi. Finally, we have a script called rununittests.m that executes all tests. I've generated code ahead of time using the MATLAB Coder app, as you can see here. Everything looks as we expected in add1.c. Now let's run the unit test on the generated code. First, I'll change the settings so MATLAB Coder builds a MEX file. Jumping over to verify code, we need to specify rununittests.m here, which contains the command to run all unit tests. Now let's start it. MATLAB Coder just completed all unit tests, and everything passes with flying colors. Using this approach, we can start modifying our MATLAB code and see if anything breaks. So for example, let's change the number 1 to be a single precision number instead of the default double precision number. Our unit test should catch this error because the output will now be a float instead of a double. Let's see if it does as MATLAB Coder regenerates code and reruns the unit tests. As you can see here, we see that both unit tests have failed. In a summary, we see the reason for the failure is because of the output data type clash. The unit test expected a double, but got a single instead. Also, we can see that the value differ from the seventh decimal place onward because of the difference in precision between a double and a single. If we head back to our MATLAB code and change it back to the original version, and then we run the unit tests, we'll see that everything passes again, so we're good to go. If you have embedded coder, you can also use the same workflow to run unit tests with software loop testing. I'll go ahead and make MATLAB Coder generate a static or dynamic library. Heading over to verify code, you'll see that we're using software loop execution. So let's go ahead and start it. MATLAB Coder will generate code for a static library and rerun the unit tests. And again, as we expected, we see that the unit tests fail because of a data type clash in the outputs. The fix is the same as before, where we undo our changes and go back to the working version. This was a quick look at using MATLAB's unit testing framework with MATLAB Coder.